Okay, here is a help video for the German dance in B-flat. I think I put the left hand up before when one of my pupils was learning it. Um, quite a few of you have asked me to put up the rest of the piece, so I'm going to do a tutorial. Um, I've got quite a few requests at the moment, so I'm going to work fast on this one. Just if, Please just use pause on your videos if you want to go back. I normally I try and do things two or three times. I might do it a bit less in this video. So here we go. German dance in B-flat. The right hand, line one. Okay. Um, what are the tricky bits? Right, so first of all, those little arrows under the notes are super staccato. First chord. Now you can notice my hand, I get my hand ready for that chord before I even start the piece. There it is. Now I sort of get myself ready for the next chord before I play the next bit. Now it's just one note at a time. H of Couture there. Uh, the person, someone corrected me on my pronunciation on the last video. I hope I got it right now. H of Couture. Okay, left hand. I remember when I taught that, the A it sounds really wrong, but it isn't. It sounds good together. Two, three, two, three, two, three. Tricky things on this one, let's look at it. Again, get the chord shape ready, uh, well, the shape of the notes, they're all under the hand then. A is a bit fiddly, I think. Move. Close the gap. Okay, so one, two, three, get your chord. Two, three, don't hold it down. Two, three, two, three. Shh. Putting it together. Ah, oh, I missed it. Those two there, thumbs. I didn't get up to the E flat. So I'll do that again. So thumbs together. Close the gaps. Okay. So for me, the trickiest part of line one appears to be that middle bit where the thumbs play together very close. E flat and F. I'll do it again. as well, beginning of bar one, two, three. I'm going to go a bit slower because I'm making a lot of mistakes. Yay! So if you slow down, you give yourself a chance to think and to move. Let's look at line two. Okay, there are a lot of challenges here. First challenge, stretching from F to E flat with finger four. Then a chord. C E A C E flat A. And then a, and then another jump back down and another stretch up. Squash. And another chord. So those one, two, three, first four bars of line two are very tough. Practice them loads. So I'll just do line two again. And the last bit of the line, the last three bars, are the same as the last three bars of line one. Look at the other hand. I don't like that shape myself. Me personally, I'm going to play it 5 3 1. And the next chord, I'm going to play 5 3 1. And the next one, 5 2 1. 
and one and five. Um, there are good reasons to play it with two, four, and five. You have then got your middle and thumb ready for the next chord. I just find that shape so uncomfortable, I'm not going to do it. So one, three, five. Three, five, one, two, five. Okay, line two. Am I going to get it right first time? Have a guess now. Uh, I'm going to do my best. I did get it right first time, but I did have a pause there. Now, where did I pause? Um, let's go over it again. I nearly missed it. Oh, wrong fingers. I'm going to do it again, and while I was playing that, it, I was thinking about something I wanted to talk to, about. When you've got these big jumps, me personally, I have to look down um, just, to, just to check where I'm going to on some of these big jumps. So here, you want to look up at the music and feel for the notes, but here, now, that big jump, just a quick look down, and again, I need a quick look down to get to the F and look back up. That, that gets you through line two. Um, I'm going to move on. Remember, this is not a performance video. Check out some people who've practiced to, to get good performance in it. Line three. What's wrong there? A. Played an A flat. Do the beginning again. Line three. Again. F and G, F and A, F and B, C and E flat, thank goodness, third time. Okay, then we move E flat and F, E flat and G, E flat and A, D and B flat. Here's the line. Above the stave, it's starting on an F above middle C. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, that's a nice one. Left hand's nice. Um, no real challenges. Just remember that, that E there is an E flat. E flat under. Or with a G at the bottom, B, C, D, octave, we move back to F. Okay, line three, hands together, off we go. Now, what's going on here? Okay, I need to practice the beginning of line three. Thumbs together. The end of line, the end of bar two, you'll land on your thumbs. Let's do that again. The E flat's bothering me. I must write in a flat sign because I, when I get there, I hesitate. I think, is it a flat? Is it a natural? So you write it in if you're not sure. Nice and it sounds good. Shh. Now you might want to look down just to move. Okay, on to the last line. Right, the right hand to start. Push forwards. Now that's 
an interesting uh, technique. You have to slide forwards to get onto the black note. And then spreading out. One, two, three. Line four again. Other hand. Now two and five, I agree. One, two, three. And then one and four. One, two, three. These are fiddly things to, to, to learn as a beginner. The shapes tricky. One, two, three. One, two, three. Rest. Rest. Tea, coffee, coffee, tea, 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 tea. Let's put it together. I've hesitated and I know I did a wrong finger. Yeah, left hand, the second bit, the F and the C. Didn't get that shape, so let's try again. Push forwards together. Together. Over. Okay, that last bit, I think I had a finger at a problem there. One and four, and then you're, you're in a nice position here to finish the piece. All under the hands, that bar, the, la the last four bar of music, is all underneath the hands. Then you move, rest, back to the beginning. Um, and you finish the piece where it says, uh, Fine, I guess, Italian. Uh, finish here, double bar line, the end of line two. I hope that helps. It's just me working through it. Uh, you see my mistakes, me giving you a few tips as you go. Um, and for a really nice performance, check out some of the other people on YouTube playing it. Hope that helps. Thanks. Bye.